So I've seen recently, though the Kez 3 was launched with really, really good vehicle coverage, but some other really interesting features have been added now. A dyno drive is one I know, and it's, it seems to be getting better with things that aren't necessarily just tuning. Talk to us about what else the tool now does. Yeah, the tool has got some really nice features now that have been added in. So we have dyno drive, as you mentioned, which is a power measurement uh, bit of software, uh, which a lot of our customers are using and are saying it's really very accurate. Um, because it's done on the road so actually it has got the proper induction on the vehicle which you can't really create on a rolling road with the best fans in the world so actually the measurement of the power is extremely accurate it's real world performance this is almost like a, 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 a in-car dyno is that is that what we're saying here so it's actually in the car and you're measuring the brake horsepower of the car you're measuring power and torque yes that's right um, so we have that as a feature. Uh, we've also got a DTCs feature in the tool now. So it measures um, or reads and displays the SAE DTC codes, um, giving you a description and the ability to erase them if you need to. So this is diagnostic trouble codes we're particularly talking about. So P codes and things within the ECU. So the, the bespoke manufacturer P codes, uh, it will list them. It doesn't give you a description on those and you can't delete them, but it will at least highlight any uh, codes that are stored in the vehicle but on the standard or generic as some people refer to them SAE codes it will actually give you a full code description and the ability to erase them as well. That's probably a really nice feature having if you're tuning and have that ability in the car with you while you're tuning that's nice to have. It means that you don't have to switch between tools uh, a lot of the tuners uh, out there will know that it's quite frustrating when you've got a tuning tool plugged in, you have to unplug that and then reach for a diagnostic tool to potentially check for any, any codes that are stored, then go back to your tuning tool. Now it's, it's all in one tool. Okay, and did I hear rumour of data logging perhaps coming this year? You did. We have data logging that will be coming along later in the year. Um, we're really excited about that and looking forward to it because it is a, a feature that a lot of people are crying out for. Um, there are some other tools out there that are doing this and we are just getting everything developed and finalised before we launch that to make sure that it's, uh, it's right and we're happy with the product. And um, then once that launches, we've got a tool that pretty much covers everything off. So yeah, we're, we're very excited about that. So more good things to come. Absolutely.